Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really, really well. Um, today we've got a eBay tool purchase. They're piling up in the drawer, things from eBay. So I thought I'd get rid of some out of the drawer. And um, we've got some cool items. But be first, we had the, we, I've got a few things to talk about. Um, first, we had the guess the price yesterday on the uh, massive tool haul. Um, um, Gary Kios won with twelve uh, with twenty one sixty eight. Well done, Gary. But it turns out Gary wasn't quite the closest because Stephen O, who put a beautiful message and then put his guess at the end, and I didn't see it because I didn't click, you know, the last bit. So, sorry, Stephen. Um, you were the closest with two uh, twenty two o five. So you were only five pounds out, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so let's all give Stephen a massive round of applause. Well done, Stephen. Um, you were the closest. Gary, you were an excellent guest, as was Ian, the um, essential handyman. That was an excellent guest as well. But to be fair, a lot of you deserve points for how fantastic your guesses was. So we've got Stephen O. I'm going to give you five, Stephen, which is the most I've ever given anybody because it was an absolutely fantastic guess. And then one because I missed your name out. Sorry, my mate. So everyone in the comments, go, go over to say well done, Stephen, because he's the real, he's the real hero. My mate Stephen, I'm sorry. I'm a, it, it, do everyone do me a favor is when you put your guess, put your guess as the first thing before you put your comment. Because if the comment goes a little bit long, I don't see the number and I get I get easily confused because I'm an idiot and I'm dyslexic. So just bear that in mind. But well done, Stephen. Thanks for putting that out, mate. Um, really good guess. Um, Stephen watched every video and he was he, he was very a big commenter so I feel really bad that Stephen didn't get his shout out but Stephen legend fantastic guest the next thing is I've got a massive shout out there'll be a link below and you must go over and check this young lady out um, her name's Rosie's Restorations and um, Jim from Hantle Restoration pointed her out and said I must go check her out and you're right, Jim. She's done an absolutely fantastic job on a lathe restoration. She's only a small channel, but she's doing her absolute best. And I highly recommend you go over, do me a favor, go over there, subscribe, leave a comment, because I think she's really doing her best, just like Kesley was with the amazing screwdriver. She's doing her best as well. So I highly recommend you go click the, the link below and go over and subscribe to Rosie's Restoration. She's doing a fantastic job. And the smaller channels is, you know, more enjoyable for me to watch. Plus, there's no adverts, which is always a bonus. Um, so, well done, Rosie. Really enjoyed your lathe and vice and other restorations you've been doing. She's only got about 70 uh, odd subscribers. So, she definitely could do with some more input. And there's lots of you out there, you know, who are very kind. You'll go over there and check her out, hopefully. Um, and you won't regret it. <clears throat> right, so let's, without further ado, let's have a look at the junk I bought recently. So, shall we go with the backer item? Because there's always a backer item. I found this, which is a 1920s set of backer in the original box. I couldn't believe it. And it's one of those uh, made in Sweden um, spanner sets. Now, this came on eBay um, I made, and it was on like five pound start bid and i didn't want to wait for the bid so i made them a big offer and they accepted it and i was really glad i did get this set from uh, my good friend in um um in in iceland not iceland finland there we go my good friend in finland leaf so i've got two sets and they're slightly different which is fantastic so i was really happy with that that was my favorite purchase of the lot um, we've got this little brass spoke shave, kind of cool. Little spoke shave, violin maker spoke shave. I really liked it because it was made out of brass, as I'm sure of you would guess. So I thought that was really cool. Um, the next thing was a job lot of three. We've got this, which is all, all carved up, not particularly interesting. We've got a, re a reasonably nice, actually, Abingdon King Dick. And um, that might be a nice uh, postable item to somebody who wants a King Dick. In fact, I think that might go to uh, my buddy, um, 
who I owe to King Dix. I can't remember the name. Um, back in service, Rick from Back in Service. There we go, Rick. Um, my brain damage subsided then for a minute. So, Rick, that'll be one of yours, mate. And it's a nice example. Jaws are straight, lovely and sharp. Trademark's really nice. It's got the bulldog on it. On the other side, has got Abingdon, which makes it an early version because Abingdon stopped. So this is 100 years old nearly and really sharp condition. This will be yours, Rick, because um, I owe Rick some for the deal. Um, but this is the reason I bought the lot, because I really like this one. And it reminded me of a Victor. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so that was a job lot. Then we had the, the one three lots now. Now, these are super cool. Wells Unbreakable file handles ac wells and company and um, obviously you stick the file have i got a file handy maybe i do maybe i don't oh i don't know maybe not is it in here there we go so we get a file um and you can just pop the file in obviously and there you go you've got a nice file handle but it's an unbreakable file handle really kind of nice so I thought they were cool. So we got two unbreakable file handles. That was a lot. The next lot was these two Ampco made in the USA beryllium copper scrapers. Now I saw these on James Dawn's channel. Um, I think he got one of these from that cool place he found with the, the, the vintage tools. And I just thought, wow, these are really cool. Um, and I think they're very similar to the one James got. And he polished his up with a little Dremel. I think I might do something similar myself. But yeah, two beryllium copper tools for the copper tool drawer. We've got this rather cool, in rather nice condition, Garrington's, that red diamond, um, Daimler spanner. And I thought, ooh. Now, there's been a few of these come up for sale. But um, obviously Jim buys them all. So this is the first one I've bought. Really nice condition. It's almost NOS. You know, the, the look of it, it just looks it's got that bluing on it still. Uh, just a bit mucky. Beautiful condition. Works a treat. Really, really nice. So that was a nice Daimler spanner. And the last one is also rather cool. We've got here a uh, an adjustable. And the reason I liked it is just the look of it. Somebody's painted it. And I might take the paint off and give it a little bit of a polish. But it's one of those adjustables but i've never seen an adjustable with the pipe teeth before um so that's the reason i went for that one um and it's a big boy as well a big old boy so there was there was some really cool items on ebay um in this haul and um, my favorite without doubt i'd have to go for the backhoe because it's super cool really really like that and um, with the back of cool backhoe spanners you guys put in your comments. I've got a feeling that a few of you might go for these handles or scrapers. But we'll see what you go for as your favourites in the comments. Don't forget to say well done to Stephen O for his fantastic guest. And go check out Rosie's Restorations. I think she'd really appreciate it. And I think she's a great channel. I think you should really keep it up, Rosie. Well done to you. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.